everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be doing a video on how i keep my mattress clean this is something that i didn't really think of sharing with you until i was going through my routine the other day and i thought actually you guys might want to see what i do to keep the mattress clean so if you want to see how i keep it clean then just keep watching okay so the first thing i do which seems pretty obvious is to strip the bed so i strip the bed of all of the sheets bed linen everything like that and I pop those in the wash and get another load out, a nice fresh set, ready to remake the bed after once I finish doing the mattress. So I do that first and then I move on to hoovering. Yes, I hoover the mattress. Okay, so hoovering the mattress is just going to pick up any dirt and grime and it's really quick and easy to do. I've got a handheld hoover. This is one by Shark. I'll leave the model down below for you because I get loads and loads of questions on this. And this is actually a battery powered one. It's so good guys. I would highly recommend it. It is quite pricey, I will admit. And it's a little bit heavier than my Dyson hoover that I used to have because I've had a Dyson cordless hoover in the past. And that one is a little bit lighter. This one's slightly heavier, but it doesn't, um, it doesn't affect the way I clean and it is really, really good, very powerful. This hoover also comes with two batteries. So if I show you, you've got two different battery packs. So once this one runs out, I can just pop another one in and I'm still able to clean. So I absolutely love that feature about this hoover. And again, you've got the smaller attachment. So I pop this smaller attachment on and I hoover the bed. Very quick and simple to do, but it just picks up all of that dirt and grime. You'll be really surprised with how much actually ends up in this little section here of dust. I literally, it surprises me every time. I can't believe how much dust comes out of the bed, but you know, I mean, we are in it every night. So it's kind of to be expected. So yeah, make sure you do the hoover, get in every little crevice that you can, because I know that some beds have those kind of buttoned effects. So make sure you're really working in there to get all of the dust and grime out of there. The next thing I like to do is do some spot cleaning and stain removal. So if we have any stains on the bed, then I'll do some spot cleaning at this point. You can also use a steam cleaner to steam clean the mattress, but I don't actually have one of those. So I just stick to spot cleaning and our mattress is pretty clean anyway. So we don't really need to do too much of it. What I do use when I need to spot clean is this, and it's the 1001 shampoo this is actually mainly for carpets but i've used it on my fabric i really really dilute it down and i do not use a lot of it because mattresses do not like water or any kind of liquids and they kind of just like get stuck in there they don't really dry very well so what i would do is i would really dilute it down use a tiny amount i mean if there are quite big stains that you may need to use something else there are loads of different things and diy cleaning products that you can make to clean your mattresses so make sure you check out pinterest and things like that to find a DIY cleaning product maybe I'll list them down below for you if I can find any this is just what I've been using on my carpets fabrics any stains that the boys make on the floor this is really really good so yeah make sure you dilute it and use a tiny amount of product also what I would say is when you're cleaning your mattress don't rub the surface um I like to just like dab the surface I would just keep dabbing 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 do not go into kind of circular motions because you're going to rough up the texture of the fabric and you're going to ruin it. So make sure you just dab in, be very gentle with it and then let it air dry. With this product here, you do need to hoover afterwards. Um, so whether you're using it on a carpet or even on the mattress like I do, as you know, I already hoover the mattress. So I will just go back over with the hoover once it's completely dry. Make sure you do that and then hopefully all your stains will be gone. Okay, so the next thing I like to do is to make my mattress smell nice and I like to use this. So this is a disinfectant spray. This is a Dettol all-in-one disinfectant spray and it kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria, which is really, really good. They've got loads of different scents and I like the one Crisp Linen. It smells really, really gorgeous. What I like to do is I'll just spritz this onto the bed, let it air dry a little bit and then pop on the next thing, which is my number one tip is to use a mattress protector. So I've got my mattress protector on now, as you can see, and it is absolutely the best thing you can do for your mattress. This has saved my mattress from so many different stains, spillages, you know, when the kids are in the bed, they spill their milk or something like that. And it's the mattress protector has protected it from going through to the mattress. It is my number one tip for keeping your mattress completely clean. As you can see, there was barely any stains or no stains on my bed, apart from one tiny speck, and that is because of the mattress protector. I would highly, highly recommend getting one. You can get so many. There are cheap ones out there, more expensive ones. For every budget, there is a good mattress protector out there. You do not have to spend loads of money on a mattress protector. And what I would say is to get a few so you can like um, replace this one once you're doing your washing so you don't have to wait for your washing to dry. Maybe have one or two 
just as backups for every time you change your bed linen. So yeah, those are my top tips for deep cleaning your mattress. I hope you really enjoyed this video and found some useful tips. Do let me know if there are any other specific things you'd like to see me clean and leave them in the comments down below for me so I can get those filmed for you. Thank you so much for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I upload loads of cleaning videos and I've got lots of other content for you as well. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.